Hey guys, it's Pulse with Pioneer, and I'm back with yet another tractor video how-to. Uh, this one is how to set up a uh, single CDJ for controlling multiple decks within a uh, tractor. Now, uh, users were asking, you know, I've, I was just straight out of the forums actually, I, you know, I've got single CDJ and I want to be able to control two decks with, uh, you know, being able to toggle between them. How do I do that? Well, it's actually quite simple. Uh, first of all, get everything connected, get your software set up. Uh, here I'm using Tractor Scratch Pro, and this is uh, version 1, uh, and it, it can apply to any version of the software. Uh, but what you want to do is go into the Setup Wizard, and you know, walk through. Are you using a controller? Yes. Next. Uh, select Pioneer. I'm using the CDJ2000. Next. No control time code, so uh, we're not using any controls. Uh, now, we've got everything connected, and in our preferences, the first thing that pops up is our audio device. Well, because you're only using a single CDJ, you can't use that as your output audio device. You want to have, uh, unless you're using internal mixer mode, which I'm guessing most of you guys aren't. So, go to the DJM900, or in my case, or in your case, it could be another sound card, a multiple output sound card. Configure that properly on your output routing, and then you're going to go to your controller manager. Uh, now, before you go and select the CDJ2000 or CDJ900 or whichever CDJ you're using, you need to, on your, on your CDJ, actually make sure you've selected your uh, MIDI mode to standard. In, in Tractor's case here, you need to use standard. Uh, and on your display, when you're going to link, you'll see turn encoder. If I don't do this now, it'll actually just come up blank. So if I select deck A, Pioneer CDJ2000 should now populate with all the deck A control. That's actually the first thing we're going to change. Right here in the software, change it to focus. If you're selected on a deck, it's directly mapping all these controls to that deck, but we want to be able to target each one based on the focus of the software. So how do we do that? Well, let's map a control. We're going to click Add In, go to View, go to Toggle Last Focus. You don't want Deck Focus Select because that's a specific deck. We want to toggle it back and forth. Click the Learn button, press the Eject button on your on your CDJ, unless there's another button you want to use. I'm going to use Eject. I think that's the, the best one. And you can see it pops up here. Now, click Learn again, and we need to go up and actually remove the old command for Eject, because Eject was previously mapped to Unload, which we don't want to do, because that will actually remove the track that's playing and switch decks on you, so that's uh, it's not a smooth move. Delete that one, and hit Close. Now you should be able to grab a track, load it up, hit play, hit the eject button, switch decks to the other, so it focuses to the other deck, uh, grab a track, load it up, hit play. So we go into vinyl mode, scratch is here, press eject, it switches the focus, and you can see that with the orange indicator here, so scratching over here. So you can see that everything is working, and it is possible to map other buttons or other controllers to do the same function for the uh, change deck focus, but uh, we're working with what we've got, which is a single CDJ. So if you guys have any other questions with regards to this, please post a comment or come and visit us in the forums, and we'll be glad to help you out. Once again, I'm Pulse with Pioneer.